hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl queen and today i'm back with another hair tutorial for you guys if this is your first time stopping by make sure to like and subscribe okay stick around so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to do bantu knots now doing this hairstyle was super fun super easy so yeah let's get right into the video so first things first i want you guys to stretch out your hair you know you've got natural hair it's going to just be much easier to work with now as you guys can see um i'm using a blow dryer and just a comb to come through my hair as I um, blow dry it on medium heat. This is going to stretch out your hair and it's just going to make it easier to work with. Now I'm going to give you guys some backstory like I don't know maybe four or six weeks ago now i did get bantu knots done professionally and um i ended up paying about 130 dollars there about to get it done i know the annoying part was that i actually took this hairstyle off in like three weeks because you know bantu knots is not for the week of hearts it was so painful i couldn't sleep it was so itchy so i was like you know what paying that much money just to take it off in two weeks was a pain but that's why it's good for you guys to know how to do it yourself anyway so as you guys can see in this video that i'm sectioning out my hair um i decided to do like this triangle piece in front because i just thought that was kind of like cute right i'm just gonna section out my hair cut it up like this and then i'm going to tie it with like an elastic band or hair tie like i'm doing and this is essentially what we're going to do all around the hair now for my tutorial because i decided to do the single braids on the side what i'm going to end up doing is that i'm going to um, partition out like a small piece on the sides on both sides and that's where i'm going to put in my single braid but aside from that we're just going to work through the rest of the video just partitioning the hair and putting it into mini puffs <music> I always like to do is I always like to just use my hand as a guide somewhat to see where I should um, put my parting in because I don't have a mirror to see the back of my head I mean if you have two mirrors you could probably see the back of your head but like I didn't want to go through that stress so I just kind of use my hand as a guide just to see if I'm you know you know parting the hair in like a good way if that makes sense but as you guys can see the parting is pretty decent um, in the back as well so now for me i'll be using braiding hair i currently i'm using color two i think and what i did is i cut my braiding hair into four if you know what i mean now once it's cut into four i'm going to go ahead and stretch it out like that and this is what the final result would look like now i decided to take um the braiding hair like this just the way that i've done it and then i'm going to use that to create my single braid um on the sides <laughs> Now I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. But are you really braiding your hair if you don't close your eyes? Because like you just need that concentration to do it. Anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and take more braiding hair. As you guys can see, it's pretty thick. And I'm just going to split that into two so that I can go ahead and braid. Now for my Bantu knot, as you guys can see, I'm not going to be taking off the elastic at the bottom or at the nape of my hair. Because 
I just felt like it was not necessary so I'm just gonna go ahead and braid um, using the braiding hair and I'm going to do a single braid now for you if you want you can take off the elastic band I would not recommend it especially if you don't know how to braid that well you know that kind of like just secures the bottom of your hair and then you can just attach or tack on like the braid anyway we're gonna go ahead and braid the hair and then I'm gonna show you guys how I wrap it around okay so as you guys can see i always like to start um from the bottom and then i'll walk my way to the top a little bit then i'll walk my way all the way back to the bottom so that i can tuck um, the ends of my braid if that makes sense I have a close-up that I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm saying because doing this just makes it feel secure and you don't want to wrap it around too tight because I promise you if it's too tight you would not be able to sleep at night okay so just bear that in mind don't wrap it around too tight because listen listen I promise you it hurts okay I gotta make it in this life whatever makes me happy no I'm doing things right sipping in the summer on a goose and sprite or find a night so as you guys can see I'm wrapping it all the way to the bottom of my knot and then I'm going to tuck tuck in the ends um, of the braid now we're just going to repeat that process you know you're gonna braid and wrap and tuck and you're gonna do that for all of the hair now this probably took me about an hour and a half maybe to do this hairstyle so like i said it's actually quite easy to do so i'm just gonna take a, a bead i'm going to be using this wooden bead you can use whatever type of bead that you want but i'm just going to put it into my um the braids on the side and i'm just going to tie it so you can go kick rocks i'm gonna stack bricks up build what i want to make yo i got a lot of shit to say so i'ma do this every day i'll be writing things until i'm fucking buried in my grave six feet deep wonder but my body won't decay because my messages are kind of so they put them on display oh yeah i rap with the certainty i have a sense of urgency a message for eternity for everyone internally i have some people burning me but now they fucking learn to see i ain't the one to fuck with now they looking nervously and i don't really care what you so here we are the hair is pretty much done now i'm just going to take my got to be glue and i'm going to be using that to kind of slick down the uh, my edges and uh yeah it's more when you're standing right next to me i'm five ten bitch but i'm ten feet next i don't give a fuck what you say yeah i'ma do shit my way so you can go kick rocks i'ma stack bricks up build what i want to make because i don't give a fuck what you say yeah i'ma do shit my way so you can go kick rocks i'ma stack bricks up build what i want to make. Now the great thing about um, pre-stretching your hair before actually um, going in to do your knots is that it just makes it look, I don't know, it makes it look nice. Does that make sense? Like everything looks nice and stretched, everything looks kind of sleek, you know, it makes it easy to work with. So I definitely highly recommend stretching out your hair if you can a little bit with your blow dryer before you actually do this hairstyle. It would reduce the amount of gel or glue that you would need to use. Come up from the basement. A hundred songs, a hundred weeks didn't change it. Experiments, development, intelligence, and patience. I'll do it all. And here we have it, guys. This is the final product. It's not bad for zero dollars invested. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and change me, come and advocate.